So often in ICT exams will be questions coming up about this thing called the Computer Misuse Act. Before we talk a bit about that, um, you might need to know a bit about what hacking means and what ha hackers do. So a hacker is someone who can break codes, use passwords, change programming code to gain illegal access to computers, to do the following things, steal data and break things. Now we can stop hackers with physical security such as locks on doors and security guards etc and also more often with software security that will be things like user IDs and passwords, access rights so only certain people with certain usernames and passwords can access certain things, uh, logs to see who has been where on systems, things like encryption so that when files have been sent over the internet where hackers might intercept them uh, they're all jumbled up and encoded so that hackers won't be able to read them and software like firewalls. The Computer Misuse Act was brought in in 1990 to help stop things like hacking. Um, there are four main offences involved in it. The first one is called Unauthorised Access to Computer Material. It's the least serious of the four offences and it's where you might just know what someone's password and look at their files. We've probably all done it. In theory though you could get six months prison and a large fine. Offence 2, unauthorised access with intent to commit or facilitate a crime. Much more serious, where someone intends to break the law after logging on as someone else. So an example might be uh, using somebody's eBay account to buy something. You could get five years prison for this and a larger fine. Offence 3 is the unauthorised modification of computer material. So this might be the deletion of files once you log on to somebody else, changing of files, or the introduction of viruses which are altered programs. A little bit more about viruses in a moment. You get five years prison and again a large fine for this. The fourth offence, which is known as Offence 3A, is the making, supplying or obtaining of material that could be used in computer misuse offences. This means the creation of viruses, even if you don't use them, giving other people viruses so they can use them, or getting viruses off other people that, so you can use them. This is the worst of the crimes, carries a five-year prison sentence and an unlimited fine. A bit about viruses. There are standard viruses which are programs that just replicate themselves and send themselves around to different people. There are worms, which are programs that hog network bandwidth and computer memory. There are Trojans which might look like innocent programs when you run them but are doing something bad in the background. There are malware which is where people introduce programs to spy on you. Adware and spyware are programs that introduce adverts into your web browser or onto your computer. Not as serious as the ones above but annoying still. There are all sorts of other malicious scripts. How do viruses introduced? Usually sent through email, or if you go on a dodgy website, or sometimes if you uh, insert a data stick into your computer and you're not sure about where it's come from. Antivirus software can help cure any viruses that are introduced to a computer, and up-to-date antivirus software can help prevent viruses from happening in the first place. It stops them. You need to provide your own prevention as well by being careful which emails you open, which websites you go on, and which disks you might use. There are problems with the Computer Misuse Act. Proving that people have done things wrong is often difficult. It takes a long time, and people often plead ignorance. Where crimes are proven, sentences are usually lenient, and people get out of jail pretty quickly. 